Ladies and gentlemen, your next fighter, ready to make his way to the cage. This is Manuel Garcia. I'm not sure where you were on May 13th, 1995. James Gallagher, who will fight the opening fight on the TV portion of the card, wasn't even born when Manuel Garcia made his pro debut in 1995, part of a four-man tournament in Spain at the age of 22. 21 years later, he steps into the Bellator cage for the first time. And now his opponent ready to make his way to the cage, the Reedernator, Alex Reed. Many different ways to become a celebrity in the United Kingdom. Alex Reed has found all of them at various times in his life. The former rugby player, the former soccer player, the former soap opera actor, and in a town and a culture that loves its tabloids, Alex Reed has found a home and has found his way to the front page of many of them. And what I love about fighting, what I love about MMA, is as soon as that cage door closes, none of that matters. This is where he wanted to be. He wanted to be back inside the cage. So many personal ups and downs throughout the last several years for Alex Reed. This is where he says he feels most at home. Till Michael C. Williams. Tonight here at the O2 Miller Live, presenting Bellator MMA now. Moves to three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 185.7 pounds. His professional record: 27 victories, 19 defeats. Coming to us tonight by way of Spain, presenting Manuel Garcia. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner at six foot, weighing in 183.1 pounds as a professional. He stands at 11, 9, and 1, fighting out of London, England, introducing Alex, the Reedinator Reed. In charge of the action, your referee, Big John McCarthy. Let's check out the tail of the tape with a couple of veterans. And it's the height advantage of Alex Reed that jumps out to me. Six foot to Manuel Garcia's five foot seven. Very short for middleweight. Alex Reed has had so many different lives, and so many of them have been well documented in this part of the world. Starting with his military service in his early 20s, the Parachute Battalion Regiment, multiple kickboxing fights. Easy taken down, easily tries to hang on. I see it tried an early pass and couldn't get it. Isolate the right arm of Garcia. He's trying to lock it up. Hips are not in the right position. He's got to transition here or pull him down further. Both fighters have been away from the cage for a while. Garcia's last win in 2013. Alex Reed hasn't fought since 2012. See it going for a guillotine of his own. Hard to engage his hips from this position. He lets it go. Well, we won't have the time and space here. Just Google Alex Reed. You'll keep yourself entertained for a while. Make sure it's to the body. No, do not hit your head to the body. 
Nobody like Big John. Uh, hit me to the head. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to let anybody talk him into a foul, that's for sure. I love how John McCarthy has really taken to social media as the sport grows and there's more understanding and more questions about the rules. He'll answer all of them. He will. He, yeah. he will answer all of them, and it's how the sport will evolve. It's how the rules will evolve. It's how judging will evolve. Garcia so far, a ton of physical pressure. Not letting Reed get his game going. Nice commitment to the throw. Beautiful job. It's kind of a little quicker to try to pass. He had the strong takedown, wanted to pass quickly and couldn't. Good turn by Reed, though. Yep. Now going three quarters, Nelson, then to the guillotine. Remember that one teacher you couldn't get anything past? You couldn't, pa you couldn't pass a note, you couldn't <laughs> saw everything. Absolutely. Takedowns can't come this easily, and you'll have a successful fight. Doesn't work that way. Garcia's two for two, and they've been simple. Plus the throw. And those double legs, man, easily lifting him toward the ceiling. Are you trying to get the reversal, can't get. He's already breathing heavily. Looks like a tired fighter, Sean. Things you can't, so far having his way. Things you can't simulate when you're away from the cage. No. Being in great shape and being great fighting shape are two very different things. Again, going for the armbar. Hips in better position a little bit. Could finish it here. But that's all you need. Couple inches away from the epicenter of the hips. There's not enough pressure to make a guy tap. And Garcia nice and calm that entire time. It's that left arm of Reeds that saved him a couple times from full mount or a real tight side control. Step over. Just enough to stay yep. in the fight. Yep. Half butterfly guard now. It's interesting. We talk about when you say reach instinctively, we're thinking about the arms. That's a great example defensively of the long legs yep. of Alex Reed. Watch your fingers. There you go. Going old school there, trying to interfere with the breathing of Alex Reed. Tito Ortiz, early in his career, known for that. Let me tell you, on the ground, something that really pisses you off. A guy puts his hand in front of your nose and mouth. And Reed letting it. Reed getting back to his feet. Garcia letting it. That's a little surprising. Strong first round for Manuel Garcia. Easily, these takedowns can taking his legs right out from under him. That was the first double leg. Look at this double leg number two. Easy lift, easy takedown right around the guard. Garcia has been able to get this fight where he has wanted it from the beginning. Good ground and pound, and just taking energy out of Alex Reed. No big strikes, no fight enders. But look at the breathing of Alex Reed. That's the effect of round number one. On to round two. Alex Reed, who has had eyeballs on him in you know, many different ways throughout the course of his adult life. He so desperately wanted to be on this card. Now throwing effective combinations with Garcia, just walking through them. 
get his takedown in position for the Iranian. Good takedown once again. What differentiates the an Iranian takedown? Iranian, the head is between the legs. Instead of around like a double leg, usually guys lift up and come out the back door. He's able to pull both legs out from under him. But an Iranian is head in between the legs. Great history in Olympic wrestling. Yep. Fantastic team. This is a great example strength-wise of not judging the book by its cover. Best shot for Reed. Garcia says, let's go back to what was working. Once again, to the Iranian, pulls his head out, makes it a double leg. And Garcia has always had that back door. When he's getting hit, he just dives in and gets the takedown easily. No sprawl, no defense by Garcia. Good position for Garcia. Used it a lot in the first round. Stop him to complain to the ref. Protect yourself at all times. He's complaining he was he was hit on his knees. We couldn't see his lower half with the camera angle, but he was definitely needed in the head. Garcia trying to use what little room he's got to sneak in. Another word that keeps popping into my head, and, and not in a bad way, he's making this fight ugly. Inside, kind of grinding on Reed, not giving him any space, chopping away at him. No pretty submission attempts, but really taking the energy out of Reed. Who rolls out of full mount. Finally on top. Speaking of ugly, that's pretty gross. <laughs> Happens to everybody. And good right stuff by Reed. Reed. Garcia walking his legs up, trying to be aggressive with his guard, but. Good rib shots. What Garcia doesn't want to do is answer back like this and make it punch for punch when he's on his back. It's a trade you will never win. What you want to do on the bottom, if you throw a punch, if you throw an elbow from the bottom, make it a distraction. Something quick to set up a submission, set up a scramble. You're never going to answer back with an authoritative punch from your back. Very difficult to do. Talking in this yes. <laughs> and it's not coming from John McCarthy saying, you're good, just go. Reed might be winning back this round. He can keep this up for another minute. Garcia's a little too happy with this position, whether you're talking or not. This is not where he wants to be. He's seeing this round slip away. Nice sweep. Beautiful scissor sweep. Great timing on that. And there's time for him to win back this round. We'll have it just about even right now. Bridge and trip. Easier said than done. He's trying. Good hip pressure so yeah. far by Garcia. Trying to roll again. Went down a little lower. Now here's corner saying a sweep to win the round. I agree. It's that close. Yeah. Garcia stays on top.
Nice shots for Reed once this finally got back to his feet and Garcia had so much success with the takedowns came up with another one Got to full mount Just pushing off the cake and getting a roll here Now once he was there that's when he did his best work in my opinion of the round good ground and pound I thought the round was just about even at that point But look at this scissor sweep Bottom leg against the knee top leg against the stomach Nice job getting on top, and I thought won back the round, but still very close. Garcia's just been a stronger fighter. Mercedes and Sophie joining us here in London. We are delighted to have all of you with us. One of the most anticipated nights in Bellator history. One of the biggest names on the British MMA circuit and, and all of the tabloids over the last decade, Alex Reed. Here in round number three of his comeback fight. Garcia turning his back. He has not fought with a lot of uh, fear and concern about what Alex Reed could do. And he takes it down again. Because of that takedown, yeah. he knows that's in his back pocket whenever he needs it. You know, when you see a dominant wrestler who can take you down anytime he feels like it, they don't fear a whole lot. If things aren't going their way, they just know that they can take you down. Alex Reed so far having no answer for that takedown. in a guillotine position not going for it not yet committing his hips defensive offense and so much of this fight has been in this position that, that seated on his butt against the fence not full mount not flat Garcia just picking away at Reed Part of what keeps Reed on the ground is he doesn't want to get to fall into that guillotine. So he's kind of wary of it, so he's keeping his neck back. Now able to pop back to his feet. So that'll keep a guy from leaning forward. He doesn't want to expose his neck. Remember Garcia in the guillotine position, giving away five inches here. More than willing to take shots from Reed to get inside and go for that takedown. And here we go again. There's six year olds in the Midwest better take down defense than that. I'm telling you right now. Alex Reed is in need of better takedown defense, a sweep, and a tissue. <laughs> you are full of good advice, you know that? Well, watch where it's at. Take him down the face. Fingers out of his face. Out of his eyes. Well, Garcia hasn't shown great jujitsu. Hasn't shown positional dominance. Shown a good sweep. Got the mount, but we haven't seen great jujitsu. It's been a little bit of ground and pound on top, little physical pressure on top. That's why ugly has kind of been my my word for his style in this fight. He hasn't committed to anything pretty. Not a lot of clean technique, but he's shown all he's need to show. Yeah, yeah, very true. And Reed just hasn't had much of an answer for it. In this butt seated, guillotine threatening position. In order to, to really get his hips, he has his hips over the knees of Reed. He 
just feel after watching the first 14 minutes, even if Reed can get back to his feet, what is he going to do for him? And he hasn't landed, even when he has landed those, those you know, momentum-shifting punches. Hasn't been super heavy-handed so far. He's gonna hear hey, some boards now. You cannot elbow him straight to the back of the head, okay? So, stay there. Come here, you all right? Are we good? One goes there. You okay? Hey. You good? Sure? Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, right to the back Come of the head, no doubt there. Watch the back of the head, watch the back of the head. John is he doing good? Nobody's doing that well. 30 seconds left in a 15 minute fight. That's all relative. Easy. Start Child's to finish. Play. Yep. <laughs> and he's just going to hold on for this last 10 seconds. Make no mistake. Start to finish. Manuel Garcia dominates Alex Reed. competitive moments in that fight. I believe round number two could, if you're a Reed fan, go his way. I didn't see it that way. I thought saw it 30-27, but Reed dominated in rounds one and three. He out-talked him. Certainly did. Manuel Garcia's first professional win came in 1995, trying to bookend that with one here at the 0-2 in the Bellator cage in 2016. Manuel Garcia, something of a hand-picked opponent for that man, Alex Reed. Found it very difficult to find him, someone to fight. Show he desperately wanted to be on. What's that you always say? The thing you said about Cyborg Santos, a guy you don't want to mess with, a guy you shouldn't have messed with, you shouldn't have picked. Tonight, Manuel Garcia was that guy. Tenacious. Tenacious. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't technical, but it was tenacious. Garcia, 43 years old, a 21-year pro, seemingly on the verge of his 28th professional win. Michael C. Williams will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go to your 3K side judges. Judges Tobias Gerhold and Howard Hughes both see the fight the same at 30 to 27, while Judge Chris Lee scores the fight 30 to 26. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Manuel. Garcia. Alex Reed chose Manuel Garcia as his opponent for his return to the cage, and he chose poorly as he was dominated start to finish. Unanimous decision win for Manuel Garcia.